whenever we first started our company, we had a brutal, brutal culture. If you didn't work seven days a week, all day, every day, you wouldn't even get by. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even, I mean, you get fired, let alone fit in, you get fired. And it worked. Times were tough. We had things that, you know, were not supposed to be in our operational process whatsoever. And so many other things. And everything was going against us. And we still made it work. Because we were just all out. Bloodthirsty. Success thirsty. Well, that lasted for about a year and a half. And then I blew my knee out. When I blew my whole knee out, I started to lose control of the company. And this office that I had built up that was the shining spirit of our company, it got put into some other hands. And of course, leading in that way and keeping that type of work ethic up was very hard to do. So I don't necessarily blame the leaders that took that place over for what happened. But what happened was, instead of going out from all out, leading from the front, you know, just pure work ethic, it became, let's micromanage. It became, let's give these guys a security blanket. Let's track their every move. You know, let's take from what would be the top producers and make sure everyone can do well here. Well, after being in business for a while, you know that's not going to work too well. So what ended up happening, of course, was that office slowly but surely started to decline. Not only that, but the culture was going away. People were leaving. People were getting poached. And worst of all, the top producers weren't happy, so the top producers would go somewhere else. All we were left with was bottom producers trying to suck out of our system. The reason I bring this up is because some of the things that are brought up in government are not theory, they're tested. We know what works, and we know what doesn't work. We know human nature. We know that the large majority of people will go by the comfort, go by the easy route, and not work for it. We already know that. It doesn't make them bad people. It's just their nature. You don't get mad at a dog for being a dog, just like you don't get mad at a cat for being a cat. It's just the way most humans are. Okay, we also know that the top producers, the leaders of society, they need freedom to operate. They need freedom and also power to do what they need to do. Power is not a bad thing if you use it for good. So, some things like capitalism, people can use that power negatively. The large majority use that power positively. And that's why we see a beautiful nation that we have today. Socialism makes it a 0% chance that you can be successful. Because the leaders can't have the power to do what's right. And the company, aka the government, can't create. It's the people that create. An entity cannot create. That is why we don't need to test this. But until you've been in business or seen human nature, and I mean really seen human nature, not just your friends, you must see all of human nature, you're very susceptible to fall for it as well. Because it sounds good, and it should work, and if you're a good-hearted person, you would make it work. But we're dealing with the majority here. And if you don't make it to where top people can shine and carry the company, carry the team, carry the nation, well then eventually no one's going to be doing it. And everyone's just going to be leeching off of it. That's how it works.